Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Avorian. Today in Avorian, after having done the remake of the Seven Provinces, it's time to get this ship some fighters. Now getting some fighters is uh, a bit expensive, depending on how you want to play it. Ideally what I want to do with the ship is make sure it has a couple of fighter wings, but also a couple of salvage wings. The thing about salvage fighters is that they are ideally capable of picking up salvage, and for that I have a transporter block upgrade. Or rather, I have transporter software upgrade, but not a transporter block. So I'm going to need to get a transporter <coughs> software block. And that can only be mined from Xanion. So I'm going to have to get even closer to the core of the universe. Before I do that, though, uh, first, a small readjustment to the ship. Because as you guys have pointed out, the thruster placement is not ideal. Also, as you can see uh, from <coughs> the current overlay... The structural integrity fields aren't extending over the whole ship. And I have already encountered an asteroid or two that had something to say about these wings that were sticking out. So, first things first. Let's set up a uh, trinium structural integrity field generator. And just put that over here. Let's see, how big do I need to make that for it to cover more of the wing? Bit bigger. There. Now I just need to cover up this bit. There we go. <clears throat> oh, it's too big. My bad. There we go. Structural integrity fixed. Now, as some of you guys have pointed out, um, having gyros closer to the center of mass is actually a lot more helpful. So, ideally, these would be closer to the center of mass, like this one is right here. And over on the edges, right here, I have just standard thruster blocks which I think would be better served, um, as somebody pointed out, if they also had their counterpart somewhere here in the nose. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to get the nose from the ship currently removed. Uh, yes, I'll take off the turrets first. And once I've done that, I'll make another block, uh, let's sort of say, in the nose. So I can put an additional thruster stack on there. I apparently have a bit of room here. So that could be very handy for a directional thruster block. Somebody asked, why do you use the directional thruster blocks? Well, the directional thruster blocks allow you to get a whole lot of thrust in one or two direction, or rather in one direction, either up or down, left or right. And that's very helpful if you want to create a bunch of yaw, for example. So spinning the ship around. In this case, it's going to help with my pitch if I deploy it here. And, oh, it needs to be a bit wider. Yeah, this thruster block isn't tall enough yet. There. This one, however, is titanium. So let's adjust that one. And now I have one big block that helps with the pitch. Next, I want to also have a big block here in the nose that helps with the yaw. So this one is going to be uh, pushing left and right. And as you can see, that adds currently 0.32 to your point, point 0.4. So this really helps with the yaw. Pitch, unfortunately, has once again gone down a bit. And this is the problem. The more that you extend the ship forward, the more it helps to have another uh, pitch block in the front. So... This one, which is currently firing up and down, the one that I just built, arguably should be built as the port slash starboard thruster block. The one that goes left and right. There's never really a right answer. Um, because if I add the left-right block here, then you could argue that I also need to add another pitch block here. Which uh, would again help with getting the pitch to, let's say, almost 0.5... There, 0.53. Power is still more than enough. 42 gigawatts out of 98. But I now have to figure out a way to get this ship aligned again. Um, the way that I had originally intended to do that is extend this all the way forward. <clears throat> which is going to make it really quite sizable of a wing. So let's extend that to here... Yeah, I still have this little titanium framework in the way to make sure that I can pretty easily adjust the ship. 
Let's see, that needs to be this wide. You need to be a bit longer. There. This one, spin. And then cover this bit up. So it's going to have a bit more of a nose structure like this. But that allows those thrusters to be a bit farther forward. A bit further towards the, the bow of the ship. And these... Yeah, and over here I already had this downward slope. So this part's not really going to get covered up. I'll just have to go with a titanium edge. Or sorry, uh, no, not a titanium, a trinium edge. Now at some point I want to upgrade the whole ship to consist of trinium. It's going to take a bit of time though, before I actually accomplish that. Because upgrading the whole ship to trinium, well I have the resources for it. I have 423,000 tons of trinium. But what I don't really have is the money. It's a pretty expensive operation to just convert your whole ship. This is not exactly a nose as sleek as I had it. Let's see, if I replace this and put another block like this in the way. Uh, no wider, here. Then I can probably get that sharp nose back in. <coughs> there. It's a bit different. But at least now I have my... Uh, Pitch and yaw slightly better, although by adding more of a, a nose structure, if you will. The game has also said, okay, but you're adding more weight, so the numbers are going to go back down. The alternative here would be to add an extra wing. And that has been suggested. Let's see. If I were to add an extra wing... So, something similar to this in the front... Let's go with Trinium. And make that... Uh, not as... How do I do this? How do I do this? I could just make it a blank hull bit. Like that. Maybe that's the easiest way to go for now. Or a gyro. This would very, very much help with the pitch. There, 0.76. Just one block taller. There. The fighters can still enter and exit the hangar. I believe. Hold on, how big is that block? Oh, it is a bit bigger. Yeah, so I could only get it to there without interfering with the fighters. That means that I have to slightly adjust this block. Otherwise, I don't have a smooth transition. Again, smooth transitions, they're for looks. They're not really there to help with aerodynamics or anything like that. Bring these down. Now, this is all one big block, so I have to manually fit this thing in here. I think that's it. Okay, that would allow me to put another wing in the front. So another trinium corner here. Just got to make sure it's aligned properly. Which means spin it. Yeah, like that. Then I can have a pretty big directional thruster. Let's say I want to have roll thrusters over there on the edge. Um, this is going to help with, with deceleration, yeah. And, well, it's going to cost me a bit of pitch. If I turn it around, that might help. <laughs> it has 0 0.04. So pretty much nothing. No, it does help with pitch and roll, albeit very little. Uh, slightly smaller. There. Okay, and then extend this out the side, but then there's a different thruster block. 
one that pushes left and right. Oh, actually, yeah, that's my problem. I need to have these pushing left and right over here. Because that doesn't really matter how far they are extended from the ship, if uh, I'm correct. Now I can rotate these. And extend them like this. That's going to seriously help with roll. Yaw is still not fantastic. Yeah, I might have to go with a different solution for yaw. Probably a gyro. Which I do have space for. Somewhere. Here. Let's see, if I take this one off, I'll be able to expose the neonite framework here. So that is going to be a very, very long uh, one that helps with, ideally with yaw. Yeah, it does help with yaw, but only a little bit. This one was originally for pitch. But if I transform that into one big yaw block... That puts y'all at 0 0.8, roll at point or 1.02, and pitch at 0.46. If I then add another thruster here, I'm at 0.57. Let's uh, fuse these into one block. And then, well, this is going to take some uh, testing. I'm going to try and make this thing a bit smoother. But I never quite know which component to pick for that. Something like that. It doesn't really line up. Now it does. A bit less. There. I'm afraid I'm never going to completely get rid of this sharp edge here. Is it the other corner? The twisted corner? No, not quite. It helps a little bit. But not enough, I'm afraid. No, that one's not sticking out the right side. Was it the Trinium 3 corner? There was one that kind of fit the profile. No. Oh, hold on, this is the flat surface. No. No. I think it's not that corner. I also have a flat corner. Let's see. How does this one work? Spin. Mm -hmm. Not quite. If I spin that twice. No. Let's see, this thing has a triangle there, and a triangle there, but no flat surface, so that's not it. Maybe this one's still my best bet. Flat 3. No, it wasn't flat 3, because flat 3 has an actual flat surface over there. If I rotate it like this... That's it. That is it. A bit more. Yeah. Again, I'll never get it completely smooth, but I think this might be the next best thing. And then what I can do is potentially do the same thing here. Uh, that might have to be a trinium corner. Yeah, so that would be a trinium corner that spins the other way. A bit less so, and then this one can be gone. And I can also put another gyro in there. So this one gone. Does that mean I could put the same thing here, but then spun around? Not quite. 
Oh, the block is too long. That's how the block needs to go. <clears throat> At least the corner. So the corner would need to fit to here. And then a trinium edge. A bit wider, like that. And then pretty much the same thing in reverse. So this one, but then over here. And then this one. Hold on. Yeah, no, it's not too bad. This one over here. Hold on, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look quite right. Because the flat side needs to be oriented here. And then... Like that. There you go. It is going to be pretty hard to properly align this thing, I'm afraid. So that's the sort of second wing ship. I'm at 0 0.72, 0 0.51 by 1.19. So it is pretty smooth. And then over here, I still have a bit of room. Let's see, if I want to get a smooth transition here. This is the wrong corner. It needs to be this one. Spin. And then align that to there. So now over here, I still have a bit of room. That... Oh, you're a Neonite framework. Oh, hold on. You're not supposed to be a Neonite framework. You're a Trinium Gyro. This is going to help with roll, which is more than enough. This is going to help with pitch. Pitch could use a bit of work. Change that into pitch. Change this into pitch. And I could... Although it would be a pretty, pretty sizable block over here. Add another bunch of pitch here. You cannot build this. It overlaps too much. There. And then I'd have another trinium edge extending all the way to the back of the ship. So it sort of aligns here. But not all the way. Uh, width, length, there. And then another trinium corner, too. And that would sort of fold itself in here. And then, can I fix this neatly? Not like that. Not like that. Not like that. It's too long. Oh, that means the base block is too long. That's my problem. The base block doesn't fit. There, that's it. Trinium. Ed no, corner, not edge. To here. All right, so she got a little bit less smooth. But at least she'll be able to spin around quite a bit more easily. And then these frameworks over here, I'll replace those with inertia dampeners. To aid with deceleration, because right now deceleration is not something that it does very well. All right, let's take it out for test drive. She rolls pretty smoothly. She yaws relatively quick for a ship this size. And pitch is also quite good. Now, when I say for this a ship this size, I'm talking about a ship that's almost a kilometer long. And 650 meters wide. So, it might not look like much, but this is actually a really big ship. Alright, what did we pick up? We got the uh, double exotic turret here. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, sorry, that's the double bolter. What am I trying to deploy then? Oh, right, a double laser. I have a double Tesla. 
That one goes here. I have another Tesla turret that doesn't do too much, but this one does. I have <clears throat> only two more slots. Ooh. What do I have on there? The double laser? Pulse cannon. 79% chance of penetrating the shields. It does overheat. Uh, hopefully, if I put it over there, it'll still be effective. But I'm afraid it might not. So let's deploy it, but then slightly off to the side and relocate that bolt turret. So it's going to sit more or less next to it. I know these aren't aligned. I don't like that either, but it's the best that I can do at the moment. Alright, assign these things all to weapon group 1. And now I need to have a look at the other ships that I have. Because the Vulture doesn't have anything to find. It doesn't have anything to mine anymore. So what I'm going to tell the Vulture to do is move its ass towards where I am. So I need you to go to the wormhole. Oh, sorry, not the wormhole. Uh, how do we get here? A couple of jumps, I think. Jump here, jump here. Then you take that wormhole. Yeah, no shit. Of course it's going to be out of reach. That's why I take the wormhole. From the wormhole... You're going to go all the way over there. And then you're going to meet up with the provinces, which is over here. Because there were quite a lot of wrecks in this sector. I know that I can use the gates here, but just jumping straight is seemingly a bit faster. That should give this ship, the Vulture, quite a bit to do. In the meanwhile, Venture has been mining a lot of stuff. Trinium, Neonite, Iron, Titanium, loads of stuff. What I'm going to do next is go to the Resource Depot, which I happen to be next to. Sell off quite a bit of Trinium, because I do have a bunch of it. And yes, I know I still want to upgrade the provinces, but I also want to get fighters. So, trade resources. Trinium goes for 10,000, or sorry, 10, almost 11 a pop. So let's sell off 300,000. And that puts me at 4 million. I think Neonite's also a bit too much. Let's sell off 200,000. Oh, that was 20. There, now I have 5.3 million. Next up, equipment dock. Do you guys offer any fighter pilots? You do. Maybe this one does too, by the way. No, this one doesn't have any pilots. Alright, equipment dock then. And that's over there. Careful not to slam into stuff. Before I forget to mention it, by the way, a big thank you to all the new Patreon supporters. Um, last episode, I mentioned that these uh, the Avorian the videos are uh, no longer running ads, at least not during the video. You might find one before, but that's the only ad you'll find, as I've disabled the ones before and after. Oh, sorry, during and after, to make sure that you don't suddenly get a, a bit of a jolt from ads throughout the vid. So that means that there's no more uh, intermittent ads and in exchange for that i asked for a bit of patreon support and i got quite a lot of it so thank you guys and welcome to the channel let's see a trinium r salvaging turret is not terribly handy for this ship but it could be handy for the vulture which is coming in so i'll buy that oh come on sometimes the ship just shifts ever so slightly and i glide out of the dock trinium r salvaging turret i'll buy that as for fighters, I have laser fighters, which I can buy. Size of 3. Durability is quite high. Maneuverability is okay. Speed is really quite good. These things set me back 685,000 each. Cannon fighters do 31 damage. These do 79. That's quite a lot of DPS. I'll take 4. Oh, there's no free squad. Yes. I need to assign a squad. Um... 
We need a good squad name for this. Storm Riders. And then I can assign these to the squad. Now I can also start to produce these things. If I just drag one over here, it's going to take me 13,000 trinium, and I still have a bunch. So I can just produce these ships on my own, uh, or these fighters on my own ship. Then I'll add one more to even it out, and I have another wing of four. That's going to help with fighter power. What I would also like is potentially a repair bird. These things repair shields. That's not really what I'm looking for. The R salvaging fighter is also nice to have, but as mentioned, I don't have a transporter block. So if I use the R salvaging fighters, that would be one thing, but I cannot exactly use them because I don't have a transporter block. What I can use is the research station over here, and I've briefly mentioned this, I think, at the end of the previous episode. The research station allows you to start getting objects that you don't use and maybe improve those into better items. Looks like I'm going to be docking the other side because the ship glides too much. Tractor me in. There we go. All right, research. What I have available that I don't use is this low tier stuff. Iron ore mining chain gun, turret control system, and energy research. The way that this thing works, you need to add a minimum of three objects. Once you have three, you can then hit that research button. There's, I believe, a 60% chance with three blocks that you get something of a higher tier. With four blocks, so four items that you add, there's an 80% chance, and with five, there's a 100% chance. Now, I don't really need the our salvaging turret here, the mining and the titanium. Um, the more objects of a certain type that you add, the more likely you are that you're going to get that sort of stuff or that sort of object from the next tier. So in this case, I think there's a really quite high chance that I'm going to get a titanium mining turret. Uh, no, the game decided different, an improved trading system, which is really quite good. Okay, what else can I get? I can toss in these four. That gives me another armed or unarmed turret slot. So now I'm going to add my turret control systems. And one internal weapon system. And now I have an, a plus three armed turret slot. So next tier, I'm going to do this again. And I'll add an energy to shield converter. And now I have a plus 83 shield durability, or even a plus, well, uh, what is that, 119%, sorry, 116%. Not bad. Do I want to do the same thing here? Now yeah, this double bolter turret's not fantastic, 115 DPS. This is a point defense system. This one I might want to hang on to. The mining system, not terribly useful. And that's an impenetrable shield booster. Trinium mining system. So with this, I can detect Xanion. And that's actually really good, because it allows me to take this thing off. Oh, they're actually pretty similar. They're really, really similar. This one adds 0.69, so I don't really need that one. But there's not that much more that I want to be researching at the moment. So I think I'm good. Now let's see if the vulture has actually arrived yet. Almost. The vulture is almost here. There's still quite a few pirate wrecks in this sector. I believe you can see one over here. There is a lot of nanite in this wreck. Over here. Titanium. More nanite. So this should keep the Vulture busy for a while, and the Vulture can even refine it in the same sector because there is a resource depot. So I'm going to wait for the Vulture to show up once it gets here. And there we are, it is here now. 
I can switch to that ship. Check what sort of turrets it had. Because it only had four turret slots. So let's add an unarmed turret control system. And add that new titanium, sorry, no, trinium or salvaging turret. Must be built out of trinium or better. Of course it is. So trinium edges updated. Trinium R salvaging turret. And the rest. Titanium R salvaging turret. It's only going to mine the neonite, not the trinium. Neonite salvaging turret though. Will help. Oh, I don't have enough power? Yeah. I'm generating... Only 21, and I'm requiring 25. Okay, can I upgrade this ship to the, let's say, the Trinium tier? It's going to cost me 58,000 Trinium and a bit of money. But this does solve my power issue. How much shield do I have? None. That could be a problem. If this area gets attacked, I will not have any sort of defense for this ship. So let's add, there we go, 35,000 points of shielding. And I'll also add another generator. A bit wider, there. 26 out of 50. I don't want to spend too much on this ship though. Uh, this is a gyro array. Let's extend that slightly. Then extend the engine slightly. Shrink it down. There. Integrity field. I know it doesn't really need extending, but I like to keep these things sort of similar. Although, actually, no. Storable energy. An energy container. That's something I need more of. Now I can store 52 gigajoules. And then extend this. Over here we have another gyro. The ship is very maneuverable as is. So it doesn't really need any more of that. But I might smuggle a shield generator down here. There. 56,000 shields. AKA, I really don't want to lose this ship. Integrity field generator, trinium gen. This is also a generator? No, it's an integrity field gen. There. Copy these things back in. Um, cargo space is good enough, 3.47k. Crew space, 80 out of 105. Maybe some more crew space. Just down there. 80 out of 169, that's better. All right, as for the paint work, I was, I think, using this. And then that solar color. I'm still using more power? No, I'm not. No, I am not. Okay, this ship is good to go. All I need to do is transfer back into the provinces and set the vulture to start salvaging wrecks refining and doing it again all right my own shielding can now be improved significantly with the shield converter energy to shield converter installed permanently and now i have 102,000 points of shields aside from that what else would i like for upgrades um object detector it's going to highlight valuable objects at a range of almost 11 kilometers let's bring that in you don't need to install this permanently, I believe. There's no benefit to it. So let's uh, take the ship out for a spin. And see what else I can find in the universe. Crap, I forgot to buy pilots, didn't I? Yeah, I don't have any pilots. Fortunately, this is actually a sector that has some useful stations in it. Including one that offers me pilots. 
No valuable objects detected, so I don't need to go looking for asteroids that I can sell off. Mm, docking base on the other side. Come on. There, tractor me in. Now, let's immediately buy all the pilots that they have. So that I don't have a problem with pilots later on. I do apparently have a problem with... Oh, there we go. Enough crew. I don't have any, let's say, unemployed crew members though. So if I change one thing about the ship, I'll probably not have enough crew. Let's just bring another uh, 25. Alright. I was actually looking for a fight. I'm only seeing energy signatures here. That's weird. I do have a radar, right? No, I don't. Oh, that's why I'm not seeing anything. Okay. That's pretty bad news. So I need an equipment dock that actually has a radar for me. This is the only equipment dock that I know of, but I know that it doesn't have a radar. There is another one all the way over there, but I'm at war with that faction. So let's say that I'm not too eager to fly over there and ask them for a radar. Hmm. In that case, it's pretty much hoping that I find another equipment dock. There is a loader here, so let's ask where their home sector is. 210 by 77. 2... One zero by... Ah, yes, of course, that's where I came from. <sighs> right. I really hope they have even the standard radar available there. Let's see, equipment dock. Please, 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 please have a radar. I'll even take a standard one. Yes, radar upgrade. Deep scan range, a whole plus one. Fantastic. So basically I cannot see beyond one sector. I'll just have to hope that soon with the salvager I'll get another better radar system. Shit, how much power is the ship using? 76 out of 77? Shit. So... I'm not generating enough power anymore. And there's not really anything I can do about it either. Unless I start upgrading parts to Trinium. 153? It's going to cost me 86,000 Trinium, which I don't have. Well, that's lovely. Uh, power generation currently is way more important than anything else. This is your... I'm sorry, but I need more power. It's going to cost me a bit of your, but at least I'll have enough generator power again. That's a fair enough trade-off. I wonder what happened to the radar. Did I accidentally take that off? I must have at some point. Oh, missed the lane. Tractor beam in. Give me that radar. It's a terrible upgrade. Seriously dreadful, but it's the only thing I have. Deep scan sectors. It's energy signals all over the place, but not what I'm looking for. Hmm. Let's just jump to the middle of nowhere and hope that I accidentally stumble onto something. Let's see, what else have I been picking up? Trinium R mining turret. Good stuff. The double laser turret, not that exciting. 
I picked up another double trinium R mining turret. Wow. That's great, because that also means that I can mine Xanian. Flew into an empty sector. Hidden mass. Yes. Please be pirates. I need pirates. Um, 62% through producing another ship or another fighter. I want to get those fighters a go. Hostiles? Anything? Oh, a really big wreckage here. Do I still have room to install anything else? Not really. Uh, so let's get the object detector. Swap that out. Install the mining system and let's see what this thing's made up of. So that I know whether to send the vulture here or not. Uh, 80,000 tons of neonite. Uh, neonite's not bad, but I'm not that interested in just mining tons and tons of neonite. Alright. Let's just jump over there. That is, once the jump, uh, jump drive's complete. Jump drive's calculated, but I cannot quite get there. Venture has 31,000 tons of titanium. The vulture has picked up tea. Scrap neonite, scrap iron, scrap titanium. Nice. Okay, let's swap back to the valuable object detector because I wouldn't be surprised if there's anything useful in this sector. The real question is where? Because it's really foggy and I'm flying a pretty big ship. And I'm flying it into an asteroid belt. That's not something I can use. Oh, what do we have here? A secret stash? If I can find it, that is. It's right behind the asteroid over there. There you go. Now I need to get to 200 meters. I'll just take my little drone ship out. That's a bit safer. Open! Generator upgrade and a transporter software. Not bad. Because a generator upgrade gives me another... Well, if I install it, 67% power generated. And these are also really handy. Increases docking range. But again, like the one that I have installed, I need a transporter block. Without a transporter block, it's really not that useful. I'm trying to look for any really big asteroids that I can sell to boost my income a little. I'm not really seeing them. Then again, this is not really a ship that I want to use too much for scouting. For just hunting random asteroids. I might build a different ship for that. Random hidden mass. Let's go. I'm looking for a fight. Bad guys? Anywhere? No? Damn. This is, however, an interesting asteroid. Ah, the research depot, sorry, resource depot is finished getting a whole bunch of stuff. Ah, emergency. Good, 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 good. Distress call. It's going to be pirates one way or another. Either actual pirates, which are heisting a ship, or it's going to be pirates which are laying a trap. Sell this off for almost 400,000. That is a good haul for one asteroid. Boost it up a little. There's an, I think it's a beacon that's demanding my attention. Yeah, Operation Exodus. Oh, secret stash. This one might be easily reachable with the provinces because it's not that deep into a, a very thick belt. You're already done mining all the wreckages? Geez, son, you were quickly. I need to find a new task for the vulture. 
So if somebody happens to wreck a couple of pirate ships, then uh, the vulture might have something to do. Double mining turret and a repair turret. Double mining, double trinium mining, not bad. Double repair, repair shields. Okay. Any more valuable objects? Or valuable asteroids for that matter? See, this can take quite a while. I'm not complaining about the speed of my ship. Ship is fast. Or, well, relatively fast. But she's really a bit oversized to go exploring into asteroid belts. So let's go for that distress call. Uh, that is down here. Okay, haha, -ha. our fake distress call worked. You're as good as death, maggot. Yeah, you first, sunshine. Sidewinder, oh, sorry, storm riders. Defend. I said. Defend. Why are my storm riders not launching? Hold on, is my. Is my bay obstructed? It is! And it's still obstructed by something else. By this gyro? No. I managed to put something in front of this. Maybe this bit. There we go. So that can stay, but this needs to go. And then the other part might also be able to stay. No, that is in the way. Yes. Storm Riders. Storm Riders are now on mission. There you go. Those laser beams? That's the Storm Riders. Alright, let's nail these ships. Before they nail me, because they do have a significant amount of firepower. Come on. Finish her off. Done. Next ship. Ow. Ship destroyed. Next. Oh, you're the culprit. You keep launching torpedoes, aren't you? Dead. Dead. Sometimes you can see the... Yeah, there's... That's one of the fighters. That's my self-defense turret. There you go. I'm not going to actively shoot at this thing. You can see its hull going down pretty quick here. That is thanks to my fighters, although one of them has just been destroyed. So they're a nice assisting weapon slash distraction, but they're not invulnerable. Destroyed. Any more? Let's nail this guy. Destroyed. Interact? I don't think so. This is the only interaction I'll have with that guy. Destroyed. Okay. Are we done? No, not quite. There's one more survivor. Somewhere down here. Keep powering through. It's trying to retreat, it seems. It's doing about 900 meters per second, and my fighters can only do 500-something, I think. So they're not quite fast enough. But I am. Destroyed. There's another upgrade, another cannon turret. Okay, are we done? We're done. Hey, Vulture. I got some juicy, juicy wrecks here for you. I hope it's not carrying anything, though. No, the vulture's empty. So once you get here, I want you to start salvaging. What did I pick up? Double cannon? No, a cannon turret. A double cannon turret. Lots of damage there. 463. Four slots, though. <sighs> that does not come cheap. Uh, two of these. 
This could actually be an interesting research. So these two tossed in to the research center. Force turret, Baltic turret. Well, not too bad. And there is the vulture. Which is now going to continuously wreck these things. Let's bring the fighters back in. Yep, all landed. Alright, let's have a look. Because this thing is probably putting up a pretty light show. As it now has, what, four salvaging lasers, I think? Some are the uh, class R, which create ores. Some of them are not. Because I'm just feeding this ship with whatever I can find. <laughs> it's almost sitting on top of the wreck that it's trying to break up. I think you missed one here, buddy. I got it. Another generator upgrade. Yep, it's salvaging some more. How much did it pick up? Mm, bit of iron, bit of titanium. Alright, my next objective is to start heading towards the, let's say, the more center of the universe. And go hunt for Xanion. Let's go for energy signatures, since that's, well, at the moment, really the only thing I can find. Wait, I'm not the target here. What do we have? Another sector from the uh, the Wii something. And another, oh, another emergency call. Good, we can do more shooting. And more salvaging afterwards. Unfortunately, it's going to take me 80 seconds before the jump drives recharged. Anything I can do about that? Maybe I can improve my whole ship to Trinium now. Yes, I can. Let's do it. There we go. Whole ship's now drawn up out of Trinium. The ratios are still pretty good. Maximum velocity, 885. I could add another set of thrusters over here. But it really wouldn't add that, or engines, but it wouldn't really add that much. How is the structural? Yeah, pretty much was I thought. The structural integrity field is not extended all the way out to here. Now it is. Yeah, we're good. Right, what do we have here? And what do they want? A couple of gates. And a couple of standard buildings. Alright, if I want to go west, I can wait for the jump drive, or I can just fly over there. What do we have here? A glass manufacturer. That does have a mission. It has crystal shortage. Yeah, but it's not really that valuable, that mission. This one also has a mission. Also needs crystals. Interesting. And you? Glass? Needs ore. Uh, the shortages are so small that it's really not profitable. This one also needs ore. Let's see. South... Oh, that's a really long jump. That southwest thing. Let's take that gate. To secret defeat Gamma. Over here. Let's have a look. See how far I can get. Wouldn't be surprised if that's a long jump. Let's see, where did we end up? Nice. That's a bunch of sectors. Okay, let's swap out the valuable object detector again for my standard ore detector. And see if I can find any Xanian. I'm afraid this is not quite it. Let's see, what's my detector range again? Um, 4.6 range detection. Yes, it is Xanian. Great. What do we have here? Nanite. Xanian. Yes, that's what I need. 
Now, since my other ships are not really in any position to help out at the moment, I can manually mine this rock for a little bit. Oh, I don't have enough civil slots. And most of my upgrades are permanently installed. Let's see, if I take off one turret... There you go, now I have enough civil slots. Alright, this one goes on slot 3. Only fire 3. Range of slot 3 is 1.73 kilometers. Although I also have to keep in mind that the nose of the ship has a certain length. So it's not like I can just sit at 1.73 kilometers away from the rock, otherwise I won't have the range. Alright, and that's the first bit of Zanian that I have. Uh, not a whole lot, but I, then again... Oh, what? Hold on. I thought I was mining Zanian. What sort of a turret is this that I put on the ship? Trinium. So it should be able to mine it. Did I go for the wrong rock? This is Neonite. This is Neonite. This is Zanian. Maybe I did go for the wrong rock. Let's just crack this thing open and see if that's actually going to bring me Zanion. It should. There we go. Now I have Zanion. Slammed into a small rock there. I wouldn't mind the whole thing. I just need a bit of Zanion ore. So I can transfer that into Zanion that I can use build a transporter block, and then I can go for salvager fighters. There we go, that should be enough. Resource depot. Um, hmm. Where is that? I have so many arrows on my screen there. Sometimes it's a bit hard to figure out which one's which. Look at this. This is nice. If you want to... Oh, sorry. If you're playing the game... Not if you want to play. If you're playing the game, then uh, if you want to take a screenshot, I always press F8, and F8 turns off the HUD. And then if you... I think it's press F... Yeah, F2. Then you can switch the mouse view, or you can switch the view. So now I'm controlling the ship with my mouse. If I then press F2, I can now uh, control the ship with my arrow keys. Not unlike I normally do, but I can just move the mouse cursor around without the ship trying to figure out which way I want to look. Okay, refine raw ores, everything. The hell, where's my Zanian? Ah, there it is. Oh, I was looking here. It is here, of course. Now I have 4,000 Zanian. Good. So now I can get my transporter blocks. Which are here, I think. Yeah, here. And they really don't need to be big. I think that's enough. Because now my transporter blocks work. And now I can dock, what, at a range of two? Uh, transporter blocks. 2.2. So now I just have to be sort of in the vicinity of a station, and I'm considered docked. So the next order of business is to find another resource depot. Sorry, no, not a resource depot, an equipment dock. And with the equipment dock, hope that they have uh, Salvager R fighters, which I can then use. Or if they have a fighter factory... Provided that I have a decent salvaging laser, I can build one of my own. Double launcher turret, not bad. Oh, these are seeker missiles. Oh dear. Seeker missiles are really, really nice missile launchers because they allow your missiles to lock onto a target and just go after them. 
And the other one I had on was a Tesla. I think it was a double Tesla. Not enough slots. Only <laughs> I only have six armed turret slots. That's going to need work. Especially for the region that I'm currently in. It's going to need a lot of work. What is all this? A lot of glass is being manufactured in these areas. And there's another emergency call over there. This is the east gate. Where's the south gate? There. Oh, it's only nine kilometers out. It's faster than jumping. Yes, fighter factory. Exactly what I need. The thing is, building a fighter can get pretty expensive. I can equip them with any of my turrets. But... I only have Trinium R mining turrets. Oh, I could build... I could build mining fighters, I suppose. Put those on one of my other ships. Yeah, that could work. Let's see, what can I work with? I do have a couple of fighter designs from the workshop. This is the uh, WFL Adroit class scout. But they can be Trinium salvaging or Trinium uh, mining fighters. There, I'm now docked. Build a fighter. Trinium mining fighter or mining fighter turret. There. Size. That's going to be important. I don't want these to be too big. Uh, speed, maneuverability, all of that stuff is really not that important. A bit of speed helps. A bit of maneuverability helps. I still have 10 points remaining. Jeez. They are expensive though. 400,000 for one fighter. 500,000. 647,000 for one fighter. Alright, the fighter is now slotted in that other wing. They are a bit cheaper to build though. So these are my mining fighters. Um, let's see. What sort of a rock are you? Is this Neonite? Neonite. Oh, there. No, that's also Neonite. Also Neonite, I think. Anyway, what I can now do is tell my mining fighters to start harvesting. It's only going to be one. And he's going to go to town on this thing. Uh, it's not particularly powerful, but it just did a salvo and mined 271 neonite ore. And every time it swoops in, I think, it's going to take off a little bit more hit points off that rock, break it down, and finally, finally, finally start mining it. So the bigger your mining fighter wing is, the more damage you will do to those rocks. There you go, there's another 13 neonite, 58 neonite ore... But it's not really what I want to be doing with this ship. Because this ship I very much consider to be a fighting ship. Not so much um, a miner. So what I'm going to be doing in the next episode is bring this fighter. Um, start adjusting... I think the Venture. Start adjusting the Venture to have another wing. So it's going to have a cargo bay, no, a, um, a hangar bay first. And then once it has the hangar bay, I'm going to transfer that fighter across. Make sure it can start mining for itself. But in the meanwhile, I can at least start producing a couple more of these uh, mining fighters. So let's get production going here as well. It's going to cost me 11,000 trinium to build just one of these birds. But I think they are going to be worth it. Although, the, oh, the DPS is really low. Hmm. Seriously, that RPS, or the DPS is dreadful. 2.7. What's a normal turret do? 4.6. Oh. Well, never mind then, I guess. Alright. So, summary of the episode. 
progress because I now can use my fighters. I have a couple of fighters. I have also acquired a couple of um, interesting weapons that I can research. And now that I'm getting closer to the core of the universe, I'll need to once again upgrade my miners so they can start getting Xanian, which is really pretty valuable material. Because Xanian, I believe, nets me, what is it, 13? 14.8 even. So get a bunch of this stuff, sell it off, and you're going to be really quite rich. But I'll do that in the next episode. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you soon on the next one.